watch this and then let's talk. Lindsay doesn't want to have kids because it's too much of a hassle. And they don't want to work because it's too much of a hassle. So if you don't have a kid hassle and you don't have the work hassle, what do you even have in your life, Gabrielle? I'm, I'm sorry that you believe that your life should be a hassle and that should be something that you should really think about. But there's beauty in, in, in doing something hard. There's beauty in failing, right? Like I fail every day. To sit there and glorify it as the only way to validate your life is ridiculous. I believe that Gen Z is probably going to be the child-free generation. I believe that they're probably going to be the child-free generation. Why do I say this? Why do I say this? So I am a middle to younger millennial, right? Like I'm 31. And I, when I, and I have a lot of like Gen Z cousins and all that that I talk to. I love them. I'm obsessed. And I just don't understand why they would want to have kids. And I will get into that in a second. But also this guy kept saying like Gen Z doesn't want the hassle in, in like a in like a, a derogatory kind of way, which I find ridiculous because let's just define hassle for a quick second. Hassle as a noun is an irritating inconvenience, which I find to be the grossest understatement for what Gen Z has survived and is surviving. Let me paint a gentle picture. Let me paint a gentle picture of what my childhood looked like. Um, I remember pre 9-11 uh, when I was living very much kind of like Hey Arnold, you know, <laughs> um, which a lot of people like, I don't know if Gen Z like it was a it was a really dope uh, cartoon that was actually very dark, very dark. But at the time, you know, didn't really didn't really clock that. So, you know, like a lot of community kids, we are very walkable cities, lots of third spaces for kids to gather, to play and all that stuff. Like sure, technology was like really starting to like come up. There were, I remember when the first kid in my class got like their own cell phone and everybody was like, whoa. But outside of that, it was more of just like, it was just like a really, really innocent life. And then 9-11 happened and then everything got different. So what I'm saying is that there was a very clear before and after. And Gen Z does not know a before. They just know the chaos of the after. It has been world crisis from the moment that they've got here after world crisis, after world crisis, after breaking news. They're in the space of living in late stage capitalism. The environment, the, the earth is on fire. The earth is on fire and nobody seems to care. Political um, figureheads are, we are realizing that the people in power not only do not care about us, but are actively trying to eliminate us, especially in the United States. They have been school shooter drills in the United States where there's a couple of, I have a decent amount of like international people that follow me on here, school shooter drills are not just a real thing. Kids die consistently in the United States at all ages in school. Gun violence in the United States is a thing to is it's a thing to be feared. It is the Godzilla of us all here. And if you are a Gen Z girl or a Gen Z woman, reproductive rights, the your right to your own body has been under siege your entire life. And let's not forget about COVID, the multiple wars, especially if you're in a Western country um, or like in the global South or honestly anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. I, as a black woman, am constantly under attack in the United States, but I also recognize because I'm in the United States, the, um, or like, well, I'm temporarily in the United States. I'm actually planning on getting out of here. But regardless, like the country of my origin is the villain throughout the world. Calling this a hassle, an irritating inconvenience, is like spitting in a child's face. Not to say Gen Z or children, that's not what I'm saying. I know a lot of you are like fully fledged adults. But why, genuinely why, would somebody that has lived through all of these things does not know another way of life 
and is given evidence after evidence, pounds, paperwork, like, like pamphlets, binders, arguably, worth of evidence that as bad as things were, it's only going to get worse. Why would it be assumed they want children? And sure, sure, not to say that none of them want kids, but it would just make sense to me if most of them either actively don't want kids or the thought has always been percolating in their head of, I, I don't know if I can do this. I know people keep saying that I should. I know that my mom wants grandkids. I know, but ah, yeah. Which are essentially people that want to be child free, but are under so much social pressure that they're not allowed to live in their truth. Now, these are my thoughts as somebody who is not Gen Z. Um, and I am curious from, cause there's a couple of like Gen Zers that I've been, mind you, I'm so far behind in my comments. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to catch up, <laughs> but I'm gonna try, I'm still trying. Um, but I am curious, I wanna hear from y'all. I wanna hear from y'all, what do you think? Um, do you think that I'm way off base? I don't think I'm way off base. Arguably, I think I'm right on the money. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Tippity type them away in the comment section. Um, hmm, this would also be a really good live, a good discussion going, but that's for another day. Um, yes, like, share, subscribe, all of those things, and I will talk to you all later. All right, bye.